All right, welcome back. So in this video, we're going to talk about the type tool. So you have a couple different options here. You can do the horizontal type tool, vertical type tool, vertical type tool, type mask tool, and then the horizontal mask tool. So the ones we'll talk about here is the horizontal type tool and the vertical type tool. Okay, so we can do Josh Warner. Okay, and then we can do the vertical Josh Warner. Okay, and you can, there's all sorts of options. So we can select this, we can change the font, we can change the style. For this one, it's just regular, but if I grab another one, it should let us do like a, we can change the size. So let's do like a 72. Actually make it 200, okay, there you can see it. And then if I use the move tool, then I can grab this and drop it down there. And you can just add the text there and then we can change the color here. Okay, and you can grab whatever color you want. All the web colors. I'll grab like a purple. Purple looks good with kind of this cream color here. Um, we'll turn off the background and then we'll delete the background here and then I'll give it a white background. So it really pops, let's see if it works there. Really. I'll just grab a gradient. There you go. And then we'll change this to like a hot pink. There you go. And it works. So that's how you use the vertical and horizontal type tools. The mask, all that's going to do is it's going to, like if I do it that way, okay, you can mask this. Okay. And... So we'll just leave it that way. But what, what it's going to do is if I mask that against this background, then it would just have that gradient. And then if I did it with the other one, it would do the same thing. So it'd be Josh Warner. And then we could do... Okay, hold on, do that, control D, and that's really the type tool. So, thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video, and before we go, I'm going to reset this and save, and now I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.